So there's been another Fire Stick update and we found a nice little feature which is going to benefit loads of you. I think it's really useful and it's a real great one they've added. It's really important for anybody who struggles with space on a Fire Stick, which is probably 90% of you. Um, fire Sticks do not have a large amount of space on there. So this little feature is going to be really useful and I'm going to show you it and I'll also show you how to update your Fire Stick. Make sure you're updated for anyone who doesn't know how to do it. So before we get onto the feature, if you can, if you're brand new here, do remember to check out the channel. It's only going to be a quick video today. Um, I'm Doc Squippy. We cover streaming, fire sticks, um, how to add apps on your fire stick, how to do streaming, keep yourself safe online, all that sort of stuff. So do hit that subscribe button and comment underneath if you're a fire stick user, which app do you use the most on your fire stick? Brilliant. And if you're a regular watcher, use your routine, comment underneath, like and hit that share for me. So new features come all the time on your fire stick and to get them, you have to update. You go to settings, you go to My Fire TV, you go to About, and in here you can check for your updates. I'm on Fire OS 7.6.14. So the key thing now is to find out and let me know what version you're on, and let me know if you've got this update as well. Okay, let me know in the comments. So go back, and the update was a really small little feature, but what we're all struggling for is space. So if you go to your applications, so go to settings, applications, Manage installed applications. Here, it tells you how much space you have left on your device. As you'll see circled up there, I have about a gigabyte. And I recommend having a gigabyte space because if you're streaming, you need that spare bit of space. Don't worry, we get to the little feature. You need that spare bit of space for that film to download onto your device because you temporarily download it before you watch it. It needs to be installed on your device to watch it. So you need that space, especially if you're watching large files. Otherwise, you will get buffering. So you want to make sure you've got that space. And as you see, there's only five, about just over five gigabytes available. So there's not a lot. So what you get in here is a section where you can sort your applications. And it always used to sort alphabetically. Then they added sorting by size. And they've now added sorting by recency. I didn't even know if recency is really a word. It just doesn't read right. But it's the most app you've used or haven't used. So display apps based on the last time they were used. So if you click it, and as you'll see now, you'll have loads of apps which are never used. Obviously, there's certain ones we can't remove without going into lots of details, um, which can be saved for another video, but it's just a pain. And there's ones we can uninstall. The ones you can uninstall have a little play next to it. Okay, Mine are a bit confusing because I just use this device for... Um, videos so there's a lot I don't use but I don't need the silk browser anymore so I can push the play button and install silk browser and hit confirm because I've never used it wolf launcher I'm going to keep that because I use it on videos freebie and Alexa you can't the informer good app but I don't never use it I can delete it and yours will tell you what you do and don't use and what you can and can't uninstall Eurosport player never used and obviously you can go down it. It says a lot of things never used, which isn't quite true because I use it in quite a lot of videos. But um, I wouldn't believe all of what it says because it's telling me I've never used a lot of these. But this one now says not used for seven days, not used for eight days. YouTube not used for six days, four days, three days. VLC not used for one day, apparently. I'm not sure, sure how true some of these are, but remember... Where it thinks you may use an app, it might just be running in the background without you knowing about it. Okay, some it doesn't have things on, and some you can't remove. But I thought it was a nice little touch because you don't want to go deleting an app you use. And I know you should know what you use and what you don't use, but it saves scrolling through all your applications and not quite sure what you used. I thought I'd bring that quick one to you. I thought it might be useful. Who knows? Remember, linked underneath, if anyone needs any VPNs or anything like that, we have got a few partnered links underneath. If you do want to check them out, I'm not going to show them. If you want to check out the channel, do. All our main videos are on the home screen, um, including how to set up a Fire Stick. Um, we've got a full video there. We've got update videos. We've got secret menus. We've got everything. Everything you need on one channel, all here. Okay, so do check it out. Hit that thumbs up, hit that comment, hit that share, and I'll see you soon.